I think the war on poverty is um, something that most people have forgotten about now. It was uh, almost uh, 50 years ago. But uh, if you ask whether we uh, made as much progress against poverty as the poverty warriors hoped we would, uh, we didn't. Uh, the poverty rate now is as high as it was in the 1970s. Um, it's a little lower than it was in the 60s when the war first began. But we haven't made a lot of progress. I think the reason that we didn't make more progress was, first of all, some of the programs were ineffective. Uh, not all of them, but some of them. Secondly, uh, the war on poverty was fighting an uphill battle against demographic trends, such as the growth of single-parent families, that led to a lot more children um, having to grow up uh, poor. So um, th the war on poverty shouldn't be thought of as something that totally failed, but certainly uh, it would be a disappointment to its architects. When I look back on the war on poverty and I think about those, uh, you know, I've read oral histories of the war on poverty, and I've talked to people who were directly involved, we knew so little about what would really work. What, do you think you can sit down in a room and have a discussion and make up a program and it's going to work? That's essentially what they did in the war on poverty. We had so little experience with even preschool programs, which are now widely accepted as being quite successful in helping kids prepare for the public schools if they're high quality programs. And we had virtually no experience even in preschool. And there are so many other programs that we did just simply did not have experience with. So once we started in the war on poverty, and the goal was right, Johnson himself said, a hand up, not a hand out. He always intended it to be something like paternalism, something like individual responsibility. And he himself clearly believed in, in individual responsibility for people. We did go off the track somewhat. But I think we've gotten back on the track. Now, uh, it's popular to say poverty won. But there are two very good examples where poverty did not win. One of them is easy to assume would work, and that is we gave money away. We did that through Social Security. The American public believe people work all their life. They pay into a system. We're going to make sure they're not poor. So starting in the 70s, we raised Social Security payments, and as a result, we have extremely low poverty rates among the elder. We've cut them from, say, in the 30s and mid-30s all the way down to under 10 percent if you count all the benefits. That's a tremendous achievement. It's good not to have the elderly poor.